Uh, something very small but something very powerful from a little book by Aldo Leopold. A little book with a huge influence. A Sand County Almanac with essays on conversations from around the river. Now, Aldo Leopold was a professor in forestry. Uh, but he was a student. He was uh, trained by a guy called Gifford Pinchot. Gifford Pinchot started to put in the USA the uh, forestry service in a, in a kind of a, uh, on a scientific basis. And what they wanted to do was to manage the forests for the, you know, for, for the benefit of, of, of humankind. So as, as a young person, uh, Alden Leopold was sent to a certain part in the Rockies and there he had a certain experience and he tells this story in which, which he refers to as thinking like a mountain. So I'm just going just to read that to you. Uh, just one little bit of background. Uh, Alden Leopold lives from 1878 until 1948. And he wrote essays, not theoretical essays, just expressions of himself. Uh, and it was uh, uh, published one year after his death in 1949. So these writings became an inspiration of the American, also uh, the worldwide environmental ethics movement. So, thinking like a mountain. A deep, a deep chesty ball echoes from rim rock to rim rock, rolls down the mountain and faded into the far blackness of the night. 